appreciate you taking the time to um, uh, give us just a bit of insight into your story, but just feel free to introduce yourself and uh, let people know who you are and what it is that you do. Um, I'm Tom, Tom, Tom Costello, and I help um, whiskey cask investors uh, with bottling their casks and then helping them to um, take those bottles and export them uh, anywhere in the world. Um, typically this is a really, really difficult thing to do. Um, and it's been a way that I've been able to tie my experience with design through to my experience with the whiskey industry, um, and create quite an interesting offer that's, uh, proved to be pretty successful so far. Amazing. What, um, take me through, if you can remember when you first kind of onboarded, like what, what was the state of affairs in the design business when you, you came into a profitable designer? I think when I came into the program, it was about like, why, why is my design work not more valuable? Um, because it, it, it's like increasingly, you know, we're talking like two or three years ago, increasingly up work was coming online and things are getting more and more commodified. Um, and I think I felt like profitable designer was about helping me to sort of make more money from design. Um, and I think coming into the program and re and the way that you have set it up, it was much more about um, understanding value more fundamentally and realizing that no client is interested in buying design. They are trying to buy some sort of outcome for their business. And the better that you can position your skill as part of the sort of... Um, the vehicle. solution to that business problem the, mm. the the sort of upside is the upside is uh massive like to use an example in whiskey so say your cask is worth um say your cask is worth in glass two hundred thousand pounds right so the, you want to bottle the cask for two hundred thousand pounds and you need a label and you need all the glass you need corks you need somewhere to move the cast to you need to bottle it like if i'm just the tiny piece of the puzzle that says oh hey here's a label like if i send a label to someone who's a really busy, busy business owner like what, what are they going to do with that that's that's not helpful it's actually probably annoying to have the visual part of the product but not to have <laughs> how do i how do i get this to my client in hong kong who wants to drink this whiskey you know a label is pointless so it's about, for me, the program has shown me where you can leverage design as a part of a process to solve a specific uh, business problem for, for your target client. And I think for me, going through the program has been finding that very, very specific um, category of, of client. Um, and actually spending quite a lot of time to understand what their problem is outside of design and whether, whether I can solve those problems as well. And it's, it's probably just about networking and connecting people. I don't think I realized before coming into the program, how essential that was to be able to, to charge more. Because if I'm, if I'm kind of my proposition to you is not, Hey, I'll design your label for 500 quid. It's, Hey, how about I help you unlock that 200,000 pounds worth of value that's sitting in your cask that's a very very different proposition um yeah it's very very clearly for it um i'll kind of come back to like how your offer works in a sec but is there is there features or or topics or subject matters in the training program that you gravitate more towards or you get, get more out of over over others I think I think the it like it totally depends where I am in, in life like honestly the last uh two weeks where um I've just been trying to find um some more clients I went back to your there's a really really good thing that you have at the very start of the program I think called quick cash you know quick yeah, cash projects um, and that's like right at the very start. And I've actually just gone back to that uh, this week and have then reached out to, 
you know, actually all the people who are on my desk who, you know, you forget about. Uh, and I've just kicked on those conversations again. And it's led to um, some great meetings and calls already within, you know, three or four days of doing that. So that's been great to, to have the program to lean back on when, you know, specific life events happen or you need to um, find those those quick projects. Um, but initially when I came into the program, the like building out the offer, I think was the, the, the difficult bit. And that was the bit that I kind of, where I was able to just systematically go through the program, use some of the great um, tools and templates that you have uh, where there's no kind of filling in the blanks or, or guesswork. It's all very clearly laid out and you can see where design fits. And then it's like, what is my, where's my client starting? Where am I trying to get them to? Um, and I found that to be immensely valuable. Amazing. What, um, what's the biggest aha moment that you've had? I think there's two. There was one, the main one is no one wants to buy design unless you're an artist. Uh, no one wants to pay for graphic design services, branding services, uh, even interior design services. What they want is some sort of outcome either for their life, like socially, or they want some sort of outcome for their business. And I think that's been the biggest aha moment. Take me through, you posted in the group like a, like a few weeks ago, I think it was just before the, the new addition to the family, but mm. you closed like a, a 12K project. Like how, what, what's the mechanics that allows you to get a result like that when, you know, maybe before coming into the training program, you were kind of, these 500 or a thousand pound projects like can you talk maybe about the differences in how much more work you're doing and and like how like intellectual property or like your, your knowledge or your consulting ability or your networking ability kind of impacts the the price tag yeah so i think the the biggest difference um was realizing the service that I provide unlocks that 200,000 pounds of value, right? So 12K in relation to that uh, potential value of the product in bottle, so the whiskey, the whiskey being bottled, it makes that 12K seems very, very small. Um, and then as part of that offer, I was able to use some of the stuff we've already talked about. So actually just connecting, you know, these people who are cask investors are wealthy individuals who have their own businesses. They may be entre entrepreneurs. They don't have time to find printers, paper suppliers. Where, where do I get glass from? Where do I, how do I even move my cask across Scotland? Um, and so tying all those pieces together for them in the background, um, I found to be hugely valuable. And that's how I've been able to um, charge that much more for this type of project. Um, and I think that's just the beginning as well, where I've already found there's other areas that you could tie into that, um, in terms of distribution, in terms of kind of consulting on, um, export and logistics, where it's mainly just me tying together with someone I already know, but in the context of what that person wants, it's really, really valuable. And I don't think I realized before coming into the program. It's not going to be, hey, Patrick's going to uh, help me to charge £12,000 for a label. It's much more about, I'll design a label as part of this wider project. Um, and the time might say triple, but I'm able to charge 10 or 15 times more um, for that knowledge, uh, which, which has been the kind of biggest change from before and after amazing yeah it's nicely put like it's it's realizing that you can add stuff that that increases the profitability without necessarily working harder and especially if you're working with somebody that's got a cask in scotland that's trying yeah. to 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 get it to france or or commercialize it somewhere else 
Yeah, hundred percent. There's no learning curve for you to to help the person after them that has the exact same situation, which is the idea yeah. of product. I think as, as well, it applies even if you don't have like that very, very specific knowledge, say around whiskey or, or whatever you're, you know, potentially someone who's thinking of coming into the program. It's like, would you be prepared on behalf of a business owner to find out the solutions to those problems, even if you don't know? Because that in itself is immensely valuable, especially coming from sort of behind the design curtain. I think um, I, I massively underestimated. I know not a lot of other people in the program have underestimated the stuff that they just take for granted. You know, if you've been in sales your whole life, you've never thought about all of these things, you know, printing, logistics, uh, design, what type of software to use, like all of these things are, are really, really valuable uh, when put across in the right way. Really well put together, mate. Like, like it, 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 it seems like, like, especially when you're presenting a business case, it becomes so much easier because it's like, it's your, your price tag is like a reflection of the business opportunity and the consulting and the, the stuff outside of design mitigates the risk of, or increases the certainty that they're going to get their outcome, yeah. which is probably why you speak about it so confidently. What, um, I think so. Cause you like the. I was just going to give an example you gave to me when you were coming into the, when I was coming into the program, which was like, if someone comes to you with an idea, so you're like an industrial designer, if someone comes to you with an idea for, I don't know, say this coffee cup and you're like, Oh, oh your response to that person was cool. I know how we can get that into Walmart and sell hundreds of thousands of them. And my initial response coming into the program would be like, oh yeah, cool. I'll create you an amazing design proposal and a render and all the rest of it. Whereas actually that entrepreneur, they just want to know how do I monetize that, that design? I need the design, but how do I actually monetize it? Yeah. It, that took me a while to figure out as well. <laughs> <laughs> but... But that's the thing. I've, or you study design for like you know. I studied for four years, and then I worked in like an age, uh, worked in a um, in a company for like five or six years, and you just focus solely on design. So you don't think about um, what it well, means, you know. Yeah, totally. What um? So now that you've got this like new perspective, how does it change your outlook around like what's possible moving forwards? I think, so I had a call um, in July um, and it's not landed yet, but it was, it was on the call prior to even sending out a proposal. This, the, the guy was saying, look, I need, I need everything. I need a new brand. I need a new website. I need bottling. Like I need not just the, the cask bottling services, but I need to kind of branding services. I need all this stuff for my business. And I think on that call, I was just able to say, look, would you be prepared to pay upwards of 50 K to solve this problem? And the guy was like, yeah, that sounds about right. So I've realized perhaps I'm not going to do all of those elements, but I'd definitely be able to bring them together for, for 50 K plus, uh, and realizing that the, the sky's the limit once you sort of realize that you're a problem solver not a designer yeah um, and all and, and like you were saying as well almost like a business consultant um but coming from the product side rather than coming from the sales side yeah um how many 50k engagements would you need a year to hit your goals <laughs> Um, I think for the amount of work involved, yeah, probably three. Yeah, and so. that would be a very, uh, very straightforward life. Yeah. So we're still on the journey. I think the consistency in terms of my, some of the other elements in the course, like the more like, uh, I would say the more advanced stuff I'm still, still, uh, playing with and still pushing on with. Um, but 
you know, it's, it's having the, it's having the picture of what the jigsaw looks like. Yeah. Just makes it so much easier. And, and I know, I know what to do. I just go onto the, the, wherever I am in the, the course, you know, pick the mod, pick the modules on outreach networking. And there's a very, very specific way to do it, which I've seen work in the past. And it's just about keeping that consistency to, to keep the leads coming in that you have enough um, calls and opportunities that you don't have to say yes to the first one that comes in. Um, and that's what I'm excited about for the rest of the year. Yeah, awesome. The, the other, even, I mean, even at 12K, let's, let's say you, you get to 25K, you kind of get halfway there. The amount of damage you can do from a marketing engine standpoint when you can now afford to, to allocate 1,500 pounds to somebody to go out there and sift the internet and find every opportunity is like catastrophic. So like, to be honest at like 12,000 pounds, the economics are ridiculous at 50. It just becomes, you can nearly advertise on billboards. <laughs> you know what I mean? At 50, but not that, not, you'd ne- not that you'd need to, but um, yeah, mate, thank you, Tom. For- I think all I was going to say on that point, I think that's like another thing that you talk about is, like the more that you do the networking, the more that you do the posting, the content, the more you're almost building yourself as an expert. So you become the expert in your specific kind of client category that you almost are like that billboard person. You are like, oh, who's that whiskey guy, you know? Um, yeah, 100%. Like, I mean, Jamie Oliver, Jamie Oliver doesn't get paid for his cooking skills he gets paid for who he is you know yeah um and we can do exactly the same thing um but yeah mate like thank you for taking the time to kind of offer some insight into your journey so far and um yeah it's greatly appreciated